Childhood development experts are encouraging parents of kids with autism to get their children playing more sport. A study today by Deakin University has found children who take part in modified training experienced a significant improvement in developmental skills, especially when it comes to gross motor ability. One person who knows firsthand the potential benefits of the playing field is Rio Olympian and Rugby Sevens player Jesse Parahi. Jesse also runs Sense Rugby along with his occupational therapist wife Carleen. Jesse joins us now in the studio. Jesse, thanks for coming in. Thanks for having us. Tell us a bit about what you do and why sport is so important for so many of these kids with sensory issues. Yeah, so as you said, we run a rugby therapy program and basically we like to get the kids out and playing rugby, uh, getting that heavy work, that deep pressure that rugby provides. We do a lot of wrestling, a lot of tackling and it's, we're finding it's really good for the kids. So these kind of kids, what, what issues do they have? Uh, so we work with probably about 70% kids with autism. Um, we have a lot of kids with sensory processing disorder, uh, kids with ADHD, Down syndrome and also some mild CP kids as well. So how would these children normally be expending that energy if they weren't playing footy? Yeah, look, um, we've had a lot of comments from the parents. They, um, they say that it generally comes out in the playground. So it's really nice for us to provide a really appropriate way for those kids to get that rough play in. And what led you to uh, doing rugby and occupational work? And, and, I, and I've read that you actually wish you had something like that when you were a kid. Yeah, look, I had a lot of opportunities to, um, to play rugby and, you know, I played any, any sport under the sun. Um, but I think what they didn't have those links between were the rugby and the therapy side of things. I found it really difficult to work in class. Um, so to have those things mixed together and also that learning side of things as well uh, would have been really beneficial for me, I think. Is enough being done, do you think, Jesse, in the major sporting codes to help kids with some of the issues that, that you've mentioned, ADHD, autism, sensory processing, to participate fully in team sport? Yeah, look, the, the, the teams that I've worked with in particular have been fantastic. You know, they really get around the guys uh, and our kids and they make them part of the community. So that's been really good. I think across the whole, we probably could could be doing more as a country for sure. And what kind of improvements have you seen with the kids that you've been working with? Oh look we've had uh, a broad range. The kids come in with a lot of different goals and then the parents have a lot of different goals for them as well. So uh, for us um, the kids are, are becoming more confident, they're having those um, gross motor skills um, really increase and then we're also having um, uh, you know a broad range of um, of really good things like uh, confidence increasing, which has been nice. You're a rugby player, a professional rugby player. How, and, and I can imagine that a lot of these kids are quite challenging to work with. What kind of tools do you need to use to be able to engage with these kids? Um, I think that's the biggest thing. You know, you really want to engage with them in that first session. So um, we really try and be really high affect and really big smiles and really positive with the kids. Uh, and then we'll get them to do something really fun like tackling or um, wrestling. You know, it's all, it's all great fun and they love it. And I can imagine that the kids get a lot out of it as well and that a lot of them would have a specific talent in the area that you work in, in, in rugby or mm -hmm. whether it be in soccer or athletics. A lot of these kids might not be academically orientated but might find professional outlet in sport. Yeah, absolutely. I, I mean, like I said, I, I um, struggled in school but I found my spot in sport and, and um, it was really nice to have something that I was good at and, you know, people encouraged me to do that and I think that's where where I got to today from that. Fascinating stuff. Appreciate you coming in. Jesse Parahi from Sense Rugby. Thank you. Thank you.